intruder is coming in. I mean, the entire intruder myth that the NRA spreads is completely false. The gun is 20 to 40, depending on what specific you listen to. So the gun in your home is 20 to 40 times more likely to be used on you or a family or a friend, family member or a friend, than on that mythical intruder that the NRA tells you is about to come through the door any day now. Um, so, you know, like, yeah, you know, they set up the, they love to set up the false uh, choice. Like, what are you going to do when the intruder comes in? If somebody comes at your home to do you harm and you don't want them to come in, then you should shoot them. But what are you going to do with that gun the other 364 days a year? And how do you know that you're keeping it away from your little Adam Lanza? How do you know that you're not going to end up shooting your friend or family member? Because that's far, far more likely. And I don't want to take guns away from people who want to take that risk and have a gun in their home. They deserve that right. But there are things that we can do to make guns safer for all of us. I, I want to take your question. No, I'm just wondering, who is anyone to say how many rounds is appropriate for anyone to have? And who's to say that that intruder won't come? Who's to say that people only can have seven rounds? If a woman is being gang raped by ten men, seven rounds isn't going to do it. Who's the last time no, that happened? You know, no, I'm just, <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying. That happened. But I'm just saying. I'm just. It, it, it has. It, I don't know that it has happened, but I'm just saying. Who says that it won't happen? You know, you don't. You don't know what the future is going to hold. You know, I was just in Virginia not too long ago, and you know, thank God I can have. You know, I can conceal carry there. But I was in Virginia just two weeks ago in a, in a Hilton Hotel garage where some man was trying to approach me and my gun stopped him. You know, I didn't have to shoot him, thank God, but it did stop him. How so many bullets does your gun I, I have, it, depends, it depends on which gun I'm carrying at the time. I, the smallest round that I have is probably is, um, is eight, the l largest is 17. But who's to say that I can't have that? You know, I mean, what we're getting into... I'm sorry, just, just real quick, just real quick. The Second Amendment does say that I, can, I have the right to own a gun. If I've been trained properly and I am responsible with my gun, excuse yes. me, if I'm responsible, anyone in here has that, has that right. And yes. no one yes. has the right to tell me that I have to be limited. Well, you know, the the Supreme Court's decision on Heller is clear that you don't have the right to have anything you want anywhere, anytime. So just as there are limits on the First Amendment, there's possible to have limits on the Second Amendment. But you can't have a drone, you can't have a tank, you can't have an RPG. It's not a gun. It's not a gun. For my personal use, if I want to have more than seven rounds, like in New York, I can't even carry my gun in New York if I want to, and you know that because I they, know, and they, I'm not worried no, about I'm, getting shot in but, New York. But, but I'm just saying, what I'm saying is, because I'm that originally, amazing, I'm that originally I live in from, see, I'm not okay, worried about getting shot. But I'm originally from New York, okay, and I know people who have been shot from in New York, okay. You may not be worried because you probably have people who are surrounding you. There's nobody but, surrounding me. You know, you know, you know, okay, you say that, but I don't know that, okay. But here's the thing. You know, who's to say that I, that I can only have five rounds, seven rounds in my gun? If I want to have 15, you know, I was pulled over not too long ago with 15 rounds and right. I didn't have a problem. Right, you because know? it's legal. That's why you didn't and have a problem. And it needs to remain legal. But, Our rights should the, not be infringed on. But, you know, you don't, I mean, you just say, awesome. I should have it because I want it. It doesn't, whatever well, the purpose well, is, well, well, and it's not for right, hunting, that's, that's, but that's, that. what, that's what you're saying. No, but what I can we're say also we doing protect our family we're within giving, our household. But we're giving people who are criminal and who are insane, who want to walk into a theater with a gigantic round, the ability to kill it's many people quickly. And, and then you're in gun free zones and in so right. places where people say they don't, it, it's mostly in gun free zones. Not mostly in gun free zones. All you have zones. to do is do the research. There's a lot of gun viruses going on, and mass, these mass shootings are being done in gun free zones. Yes. 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 Is protecting anybody. Then why but the proliferation with the proliferation, all the, with the proliferation of guns, and we're getting, we're getting, uh, the proliferation of guns 
is not helping us. And putting more guns into the theater, into the school, means more killing. No, it doesn't. It Absolutely does. Do we have 100 million guns. guns in this country? No, we have 300 million well, guns. Well, 300 million guns. 300 million guns. But, but we don't, but and we're still many, not saying how, how many, many more guns do we need to have? But you know what? Cars kill, drunk drivers kill more people than guns do. Drunk drivers so, kill more guns. That, that is not true. What? If that, that is not true. That is not true. And over the last 50 years, it's not true. And over the last 50 years,